here with the next episode. Um, in this episode, it's a project that's been on my bench for the last week. <coughs> and, I thought I'd share it with you all. Just a little something out of the mind here. It's a project I picked up that was started. I'll, uh, I'll insert a picture of how I got it. And then, uh, uh, and you'll be able to check it out. Something a little different, and I just kind of ran with it, grabbed a couple ideas, and I just uh, well, ran with it. Go ahead and pull this door off. I decided to put a uh, clear door on it. Oops, don't want to stay up. There we go. Go ahead and get down here so we can actually uh, see inside here. Got a heater on the left side. There's a sink in the middle. Got a stove on the right side there. I made the box for that. And the, uh, and the sink vanity there. I uh, did that all up. Trying to get it to where we can actually... Uh, the sun's kind of out, so. Gives you a little bit of an idea. Kind of cool. Kind of like on the road hauler here, you know. <laughs> Got a duck when you sit down now. So. Well, that's what we have there. Let me uh, see if I can get this to move towards the back here so you can actually see the detail work I did underneath here. Put brake lines on it. I still got to add air lines for the uh, bags, airbags. That's what I ended up putting in here. Still got to run a drive shaft. I just got the interior put in today. So. different I think anyway I even incorporated part of the van into the uh, trailer lights well, I wasn't too sure about it I'm still not sure about it but it's there it's staying so <laughs> you know so that's what I have going on my bench this week what's everybody else been doing I've been kind of busy Still working on my son's car, and we're getting her slowly back together, progressing on it, you know. Um, oh, there's a hood I made for it, too. It's out of the 70s custom Chevy van. Um, it had a removable hood and had that scoop on there, but for some reason it was a little shorter. So I just modified this one, cut the center out, and stuck this in its place.
Um, I don't know if you noticed, but it's been wired. Um, I made wire looms out of an aluminum can. I don't know if it'll show that. And you can almost see them on the far side there by the driver. I added a oil filled tube, which is right the yellow one there. Tranny dipstick, then oil dipstick over on the other side. And you can't see it. And I'll try to, I'll try to see if I have a good picture of it. But I made a uh, air compressor for it. Runs out the motor there. You can almost see it. And you see the copper line running from one cylinder to the other. So see if I can not. Uh, Get my hand out of here and we'll set her down a little get her a little closer there you go now you can see it ran some wiring from the starter the alternator runs into the firewall that red wire is going to a battery the coils I bent out of a piece of wire around another tubing a little bit bigger so I kind of dressed the front end up a little bit so that's where we stand there. I have to let me know what y'all think. Uh, I think I'm back, <laughs> kind of, sort of. Everything else going on, so not perfect by any means, but <clears throat> but yeah, it's a what if. Um, I've got a tag axle I'm gonna put on the back here. I'll have to get some deflated bags or I'll make a set, whichever. And uh, that'll be tucked in the back. They won't be touching the ground, like I said. They're, uh, you know, just a tag axle and it's going to be up. So I'll have uh, the wagon wheels that are like on that trailer there. But I'll make them eight lug. So that'll fit in here pretty good. I mean, it's still got a ways to go. I got trailer hitched put on the back. Um, so I can run that trailer there, which is kind of ironic. That's the same trailer that's on the back of this van, Ravel. So, well, hope you all enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I've been kind of swamped here, but uh, trying to catch up with what I can and when I can. So, y'all have a good one. And uh, sorry for a short one, but uh, I guess we'll, we'll we'll catch y'all on the next one. Be good.